welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by, I'm your girl Bella, and I would totally love if you hit that subscribe button down below and click on the little bell so you can be notified for all my new videos. Hi guys, happy Monday. Okay, you all know that how much I love Mondays, right? Like for me, Monday is a fresh start, a new beginning. I mean, anything can happen. Listen, anything can happen in seven days. So this is why I love, love Mondays. Okay, so I hope you all had an amazing weekend. I hope you did something that you absolutely loved. I had a very fancy event and we had a really, really good time. It was so much fun. It turned out really, really nice. Everybody, I, we had, I had so much fun. Honestly, I haven't had that much fun in a long time. And yes, I did break my diet. And yes, I did have a few drinks. <laughs> But um, I went right back on it properly on Sunday and today and I'm feeling great and I've actually lost weight. So you'll have to come on um, way in Wednesday and see because I'm really happy. Actually, I weighed myself this morning. I'm really happy. So fingers crossed the progress continues. Um, yes. So... Anyway, so last night, um, or yesterday evening or afternoon, I can't remember, I posted on my community tab if you guys wanted to see a DIY or did you want me to do a decorate with me. Okay, and speaking of the decorate with me, I'm just going to say now, <laughs> I think I'm DIY'd out. I think this is it. I'm, I'm not even a DIYer, so I don't know what, what's going on with me. Um, I have a ton of ton a ton of decorate with me videos coming up very very soon so you'll have to stay tuned for those because we gotta get this house ready for easter <gasps> you know like come on now i mean i got the bunnies up but i haven't shown you guys what's going on so we'll do a few decorate uh, like plenty of decorate with me and um but today i'm gonna show you this diy i made now i got the idea from pinterest oh my god i just love pinterest you can find everything on Pinterest, right? Ugh. So here's a little tiny sneak peek of it right here. Cause it's actually going on the bottom of my hearth. And what I did, if you remember, if you've been with me for a long time, and if you haven't, I'll post that shopping haul video either on the iCard or at the end screen or down below in the uh, description box. And you guys read the description box because I always write in there. Um, so I want to know if you read it or not. Anyways, oh my God, I'm babbling again. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I bought these uh, two candle holders from a thrift store and I redid them and then I saw this thing on Pinterest and I was like, oh my God, I have to do this. This is so cute. So Friday night, I started the DIY. So if you see me in a different shirt, that, then you'll know why. But then I'm, I filmed the end today. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll show you how I started this. And let's get started, because I don't want this video to be too, too long. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, let's get started. Um, okay, first of all, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is inspired by Pinterest. And I wanted to use the thrifted candle holders that I got, these ones. So I'm kind of playing with this and and I like to show you guys the process of where I'm going with things and how I'm thinking about it or how I think, I'm thinking about doing it. So let me show you what I did first. I really lightly whitewashed this. I diluted um, some chalk paint and I whitewashed it and distressed it. So this is the look that I want. Now, I I might leave it like this or I might put some antiquing glaze on it. Um, I still gotta do the chalk, but we'll go into that. Okay, let me see if I can lift this up a bit. Okay. See there, there's that. And my idea is to make a blooming candle holder. You see that there? There you go. So I got a piece of foam and um, I'm gonna put flowers in it, but let me show you the flowers I'm gonna use first. Hold on, let me take this out of the way. Okay, this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use 
two bunches of this ivy, um, a variegated one and an all green one. Here's the all green one. And that's why I started, I, I, I said, okay, let me turn the camera on and show you guys. Then I'm gonna use two bunches of these tulips. So they're right here. These are the ones I got from uh, the dollar store. Yeah, the dollar store. So two of these, purple and pink, okay? And then the lavender that I absolutely love. And for filler, I wanna use this stuff here. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I got from Walmart. And then the other filler that I'm gonna use is this here. Sorry, it's crinkling. Is this um, greenery that I got at the Canadian dollar store for $1.25. So, and this might be from the dollar store also. I'm just, I can't remember. Then when I was, okay, so this is how this idea came about because I was at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna show you what I got. It's um, a bag with two little green moss bunnies in it. And if you're interested and you, you wanna make this, this is what it looked like right here. This is the tag. And it was $4.99 with 40% uh, off. And it's picks. It's it just says Easter picks. I know you can hear Mia in the background. And um, so when you when you open the bag, the one bunny, the bunnies come like this, and that you see the pick there. Well, I, I cut the pick and I'm gonna put it on the top, right on the top like this. Let me show you, like that, right on the top there. And then I'm gonna fill all around with uh, the florals. Oh, and also I want to use these little eggs. And I don't know, for some reason, it, it's from the Dollar Tree. It says uh, Glitter Egg Garland. I don't know why when I saw it in the packaging. I like the size of the eggs, that, that's what it is. Um, I thought that they were individual, so I'm just gonna pull this garland out because it looks pretty easy to pull out. And then I'm gonna glue the, sorry. I'm gonna glue the eggs around here. But I'll, I'll go step by step. Um, and if you're interested, keep watching. <laughs> uh, let's see what we come up with. I think it's gonna turn out cute. I saw this on Pinterest and then I saw someone else make it, something similar to it. And you know what, I can't remember who did. Anyways, let me um, start and then I actually might take this down. No, I can't. I have to leave it on the candle holder. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it on the candle holder. So I'm gonna leave it on the candle holder because I want it to kind of like come out and up and cascade down a little bit. So, so far I got the ivy on. Does that, does that look good there? Can you guys see? I know you see my kitchen in the background. I'm actually getting ready to cook. So I'm gonna cook and do this at the same time. Okay, so this is, I'm not even gonna glue anything, guys. I'm just gonna, um, like I've cut them and I'm just gonna place them in randomly um, everywhere to give it some color and some texture. And that's about it, really. That's like all I'm thinking. And I want all four sides, actually this is a bit long. Um, I want all four sides to look the same, see? coming together. Okay, so got that. Now I'm gonna cut some of this. I'm gonna put my flowers in first because I have less flowers than I do greenery and I got tons of greenery um, that I can I can work with everywhere else. Okay. Yeah, can you see that there? See, it's starting to come together. Okay, well I'm gonna keep doing that and then maybe I'll, I'll just film when I get to the eggs because I think it's gonna be kind of boring you watching me just, you know, cut and place, uh, you know, florals in. I mean, there's no real point in that, right? There you go. So you just want it to peek through. I think it's gonna look, I think the idea is gonna be cute. Let's see, let's hope, let's hope it turns out cute. 
Okay guys, so we're in the middle of making dinner and I'm making this. In the meantime, there's Angela in the background. You can see her. So I think it's turning out really cute. Hold on, let me move this up a bit so you can see better. There, can you see that? Yeah, so it's turning out cute. I added this greenery and I added this greenery. I know you. <laughs> and um, the tulips. So now I took the little eggs out of that um, garland and what I'm gonna do is actually make an egg pick. So I'm gonna get some of my wire. You see this, can you see the wire there? Yeah, the very, very fine wire that I always use. This here, so you can see. Look at, look at where Mia is, right? Like right beside me, like I can never move, guys. I, I can never, if I'm home, this dog is right beside me constantly. So I'm gonna, there you go. I'm gonna put the little wire in the egg like that. So now I've kind of created like an egg pick. And I'm just gonna randomly place them in. And because I wired it, let's see if I can see that better. See there? And because I wired it, I can maneuver it any which way I like. So I'm gonna, Continue doing that. I don't want to bore you guys. Um, I know. <laughs> By the way, this is, um, it is Friday night when I'm doing this. And I already uh, recorded a video for you guys for Friday. And then I just got this idea. Let's see show you back there. Isn't that cute? Isn't it coming out so cute? So, so cute. Oh my God, I can't wait to see this done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill it with eggs, actually. I think I'm gonna fill it with eggs. Okay, I'm gonna stop the camera and I'm gonna keep going. And then I think I'm gonna show you the final product. Okay, so here they are, all done. Are they not that cutest? <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at this. Look how cute they turned out. I love the candle holders now. Oh my God, I am so happy with them. I'm glad I didn't um, chalk paint them like too dark, like too thick. And I left the wood showing because I have an idea for these in the summertime, but here it is. Here's both of the, um, I don't know what you'd call these blooming candle holders. Let me turn this one around so you can see it a little bit better. There you can see that, that side. Isn't that cute? Like it just turned out so, so cute. And I just love these bunnies and the eggs and everything. So this is super, super easy. Yes, yeah, so that, that's them. That's them done. And I think they look adorable. And they're right here on my um, hearth in my fireplace. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the fireplace, but not too, too much. Oh, you see that? <laughs> yeah, I changed it again. Okay, guys, you'll have to wait for that one. Okay, guys, that is the end of my video. Please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, like, comment, and share. And guys, every time you give my video a thumbs up, YouTube recommends it, which makes my channel grow. I mean, I know we're little, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, anyways, I hope you have an amazing week ahead. And remember, something magical can happen this week. I mean, I hope something magical happens for me this week. Yeah, why not? <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this DIY. I think it turned out really cute. And I hope it inspires you to go do something really cute in your house. And I will be doing a whole bunch of Decorate With Me videos coming up this week. And next week, because we got to get this house ready for Easter, right? Okay, so I will see you in the next one. Bye, YouTube. Bye, everybody. Have an amazing, amazing day, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.